Welcome to another edition of Fantasyland, where we give you the best tips, tricks, strategies, players to take, and players to avoid so that you can win money playing daily fantasy sports, which may be legal or illegal, depending on where you live. Probably the biggest game of the weekend is Sunday night's matchup between the Patriots and Colts. Of course, rewind back to the flake gate at the NFC Championship game where the Colts accused the Patriots of tampering with the footballs. And this is now the Patriots' first time facing the Colts to get retribution. Translation, pick Tom Brady. I mean, the Patriots have been putting up, what, like 37,000 points per game? And do you think Tom Brady wants to maybe throw a little bit more? He doesn't want to maybe dink it off to Deion Lewis. Maybe he doesn't want to hand it off to LeGarrette Blount. No, he's going to be wanting to go downfield to jam it right up the Indianapolis Colts upper thingy that normally the thingy comes down, but we're going upper in their ass is what I'm trying to say. On the flip side of that, here's a wild card pick to maybe take as a quarterback. How about Andrew Luck? Yeah, in the same game, because here's the facts. The Patriots are going to be up big early, which means the Colts are going to have to throw in a lot of passes. And the Patriots' secondary isn't that great. So Andrew Luck might have, end up having a pretty good game, maybe three touchdowns with a pick. It's not going to be enough to beat the Patriots, but it could be enough to win your fantasy league. And while Andrew Luck is getting you a lot of fantasy points, he'll also be on the sideline going, I don't know why Tom Brady is so much better than me with his dumb, stupid neck beard. I can't do that everywhere. Hey. Hey, I'm Andrew Luck, and this is how I talk. I talk like this. I, I'm Andrew Luck, and I talk like this with my neck beard. I could, you could probably hear me better if my neck beard wasn't so dumb. If you're looking at the running back position, pick up Eagles' DeMarco Murray. One week after complaining that he wasn't getting the ball enough, he got tons of touches last week in a big win for the Philadelphia Eagles. As the Eagles play division rival the New York Giants, I would expect DeMarco Murray to get a lot more touches again this week. Probably going over 100 yards rushing and maybe scoring one or two touchdowns. When it comes to your wide receivers, avoid everything Denver Broncos. Yes, the Broncos are playing the Cleveland Browns, and the Cleveland Browns are at But here's the fact of the matter. Peyton Manning's arm's like Actually, Peyton Manning's arm's more like a wet fart, where it's like, kind of felt good getting like a little bit of poop out, and then like it kind of felt good like letting a little bit of gas out. My stomach doesn't hurt anymore. But at the end of the day, you still shit your pants. For our tight ends and flex positions, we're actually going with two tight ends. Yes, blowing your mind. With Jamal Charles going out for the Kansas City Chiefs and the Chiefs not really loving throwing to wide receivers for touchdowns, we're going with tight end Travis Kelsey. And for our flex position, we're going with a little bit of a wild card here. Julius Thomas. Yes, Julius Thomas, the guy who used to be really good for the Denver Broncos, and last week just returned after a four-week injury with his hand. Here's a couple other people to avoid. Anyone Pittsburgh Steelers, wide receivers, or tight ends, see ya. Michael Vick, that's what how he throws. I wouldn't do anyone on the Texans for wide receivers or tight ends because I, who's running this week? Brian Hoyer, Matt Matt Mallet, what Ryan Mallet, what who are their names? I don't know because they both suck and they both do nothing. And they're probably gonna flip-flop who's playing the worst. And it's you know what? It's a tie because they both suck. So avoid everyone on that wide receiver or tight end team. And for another wild card pick, we're going with Kamar Aiken, the Baltimore Ravens wide receiver, had two big weeks in a row going double digits in fantasy points. Now, Steve Smith may return to the lineup, which may hurt some of his fantasy impact, but here's the thing, Joe Flacco seems to like Kamar Aiken, and once he starts finding a good target, you know he's gonna go to him more. And by the way, they're playing the San Francisco 49ers, who also like Peyton Manning, like the Houston Texans quarterbacks, like Everyone else that I previously mentioned that I can't remember are giant wet farts.